I'd never played with receivers growing up. They were as talented as he was, worked as hard as he did. You know, we had a couple others, Jeff Baker, and we had some yeah, really good, good receiving play. core there. And the precision in our passing game, it was new to me. Like my dad was a high school coach and he'd run the veer, he'd run the wing, like the, the, the forward pass was like not invented to him yet. Like he hadn't, he hadn't realized that. And then to come here and uh, we, we actually, we had freshman football. So um, we didn't practice with the varsity till the end of the year. And John was out that first year along with his brothers. And it was like the greatest scout team, <laughs> like with those guys running the scout team, his brother Judd running and him running routes and Jason throwing it. It was amazing playing with the quality of players you had. The great thing about Bob was, you know, it was my senior year and Bob was Judd's class as a sophomore. And, you know, he became our starting center. And here's a guy that just exhibited great poise, great ability to pick up the offense, uh, make calls, declare who the mic was, so everybody was, was, uh, was blocking the right guy, and uh, he just played with a, a veteranness uh, and a football aptitude way beyond his years. And, and coupled with that, he was, a, he was good physically, so he could, could block the guys effectively even as a young player. I remember when he called, you know, he called and said there was a position opening with the, the Cincinnati Bengals. Was I interested? And, you know, I didn't have, I jumped. It was, you know, the opportunity to work with him, work in the NFL was unbelievable. Um, I thought I did well in the interview. I bombed with the offensive line coach. <laughs> and the great thing was I, <laughs> I remember leaving and the offensive line coach had become a great friend and a brilliant guy, but the three questions he asked, I had zero good answers. I mean, I failed one, two, three, I struck out. And I walked out with a sad face and, John's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I bombed that. Sorry, you know, for wasting your time. He's like, no. Dick LeBeau was head coach. He goes, Dick LeBeau wants to hire you. And John starts running down the hallway. So I'm like, he goes, come on. So John's way faster than I am. I'm like following along. So we get to the elevator. I said, what are you doing? He goes, LeBeau called the head. He called the owner. He goes, they're they're hiring you. You got to sign that contract. Before before Paul calls the owner. <laughs> we got up there and I, I mean, I signed. I mean, I, whatever they were going to pay me, I wanted to be in the NFL and work with him. And um, it was uh, it was so wonderful. And um, the closeness of our two families, I, I wouldn't, I mean, every day was the best. And my wife grew up in Long Island. <laughs> she went to college at Princeton, got her doctorate at NYU. And we were in Connecticut and moving out to the Midwest. That was, it's a big, I'm really cognizant of that now when we hire new coaches from all over, how important that part is. And we move out there and I am, I am learning. I mean, I am trying to pick up the offense, do all the things as a coach, but it's a, you know, I have a big learning curve and I'm not as in tune with, you know, your, your family's needs or wife's, wife's need at that point. And Honor Garrett took care of Lisa in every way. And, made her feel part of the family, made her feel part of the Garrett family. And, uh, uh, you know, there, there's it was really, you know, those years together. Well, I'm in Hyde Park, he's in he was East Walnut Hills. Yeah. And that was, it was such, a, such an awesome time uh, of our lives. You know, you're in this profession together and you really, you, you're together in this. And he, he's as good a coach as I've ever been around. His way, his teaching, his, his work ethic, his, his passion all those things and you know you're excited you know you're, you're thrilled that you see a friend become a head coach at such a prestigious university and uh, you know it, it's you know I, I remember we've coached against each other before we coached against each other when he was in Dallas and you know I'm in Cincinnati and uh, you know the game ends and you compete you know that during those three hours or so you play but the game ends and Man, he's knocking on the bus. Hey, Bob, you in there? And you, know, you come out, and you're giving hugs, and you're talking about about life. And you know, you're, you know, they really couldn't have gotten a better football coach in person. And you know, somebody's going to lead them to a lot of success.